My friends, I, w- I want to mention uh, the passing uh, of one of the greatest women of God that I've had the pleasure of knowing throughout my life. She's preached here many times, and we were the best of friends. The evangelist Joyce Rogers, now uh, Supervisor Joyce Rogers, more importantly, child of God, resident of heaven, Joyce Rogers. I spoke with um, Joyce just approximately two or three weeks ago, and we talked about uh, the appointment that the Lord had blessed yours truly to receive, to work with the National Men's Ministry of the Church of God in Christ. And she was such a, a, an encouragement. To be honest with you, uh, I, it, she, it, she was so uplifting and encouraging that I was not even aware that she was as, as sick as she was. And I said to her in our parting, uh, in, in, as we concluded the conversation, that I couldn't wait, could hardly wait to have her to come back and to minister here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And she said, I look forward to it, my brother. The God of the Bible determined that that was not to be. He has taken her from labor to reward. It's painful for us down here uh, to even grasp with uh, this woman of God. Joyce was truly bigger than life. (laughs) And she was as kind and as friendly as she was godly and uh, holy. What a clean, living, pious, godly woman she was, but not with a hint of arrogance. But uh, uh, and she was and she knew how to make you laugh at her. She did. She wasn't immersed in self uh, importance and self aggrandizement. She was as kind as she could be. And the Lord knows she could preach. We're going to miss this woman of God. But I do know this. We're not going to mourn as those who have no hope. We will miss her. On her part, she wouldn't come back. <laughs> Here, if she could, because by now, Joyce has looked into the eyes of Jesus Christ. She beat us home. She beat us home going to see the Savior. So I join all of you out there who knew her, who appreciated her ministry, who appreciated her as a friend, as a woman of God, as a sister, as a soul sister, as a businesswoman, an investor as a righteous and godly woman, as a leading figure and a leading face in the church of God in Christ and indeed the body of Christ. We join those who mourn her death and who acknowledge this woman of God who lived a life that brought meaning, a life uh, that enriched the lives of so many others. You know, none of us are guaranteed, uh, none of us know how long we're going to be here. The key is to make every day count. The key is to live, uh, to live in such a manner that when you're gone, it'll be noticed. And Joyce did just that. Oh, Joyce, enjoy Jesus, and we'll see you when it's our time, amen, to join the saints of God somewhere around the throne. God bless.